In Creo Parametric, you can use the Knot Analysis tool in order to examine the quality of spline and B-spline curves and surfaces. Let's take a look at that. Here I have a part model open. There are a bunch of surfaces created from a variety of different methods. Let's go to the Analysis tab and then the Inspect Geometry Overflow menu. Here is the Knots command. When I click on that, it opens up a dialog box. You can select curves or surfaces, and you can select multiple entities by holding down the control key. If I move my mouse over the main part of the surface, you'll notice that nothing is pre-highlighting. These surfaces are not applicable to the knots analysis. But when I get over this surface, which was created in ISDX, I'm able to select it. You can see that it is showing essentially the knots, the mesh of that surface. And also it has the degree of the surface in the U and V directions. It's a bit hard to read, but it is saying it is degree three in both directions. I can hold down the control key and select another surface. This one is another ISDX surface, so I'm able to select it and it reports the same values. Let me right mouse click over the collector and remove all of them. Just to show you that you can select curves as well. And so there we have that one selected and it is showing its degree. Let me hold down the control key and grab this other curve that was created in the style tool. And it is also a degree three curve. Let me click the OK button to get out of that. Let's take a look at another model. Here is a part that was created with a boundary blend using some sketches of splines. Once again, we'll go to the Analysis tab and the Inspect Geometry Overflow menu. And now let's go to the Knots command. I will pick this surface. You can see that this is actually degree five in the U and V directions. Besides displaying the knots, you could also display the control mesh. Here you can see the control mesh like you would use for manipulating it in the warp tool or in ISDX. And you can also display both. There's also the option to save this analysis so that you can have it displayed persistently on the computer screen. But let's click the OK button out of that one. And just one other model to take a look at very quickly. Here we have a part model that is a combination of some blends and also an ISDX surface, a style surface. Once again, I will go to analysis, inspect geometry, and then knots. And when I select some of the different blend surfaces, all that is doing is essentially showing the UV mapping of those surfaces. We're not really getting much. But when I select this surface, we are getting the knots and the degrees for that surface. I can hold down the control key and select this one as well. And we can see that that's degree five in the V direction. I think that's a three in the other direction. And just with these color combinations can be hard to read some of them. And so that way I've got those different ones selected. Again, we can go to display the control mesh instead or display both at the same time. I'm happy with that. Let's click the OK button. And so that's how you can use the knots analysis tool for your spline and B spline curves and surfaces.